All right. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to Dobbins Gaming. This is Kaylee. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are here with Batman Arkham Asylum and oh, excuse me, I just had lunch. Um I have a new pop filter woo, for my microphone, so hopefully you guys won't be able to hear anything that I don't want you to. I messed it up. Oh no, stop. Silly Kaylee. This is why we don't mess with things. Okay, there we go. Um, but, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. And I don't remember where we were exactly. So, we'll see. Quick update on what's new in the assignment. Oh, Attention. right. We have an oh, wait, I gotta do this again? Like a bat. Oh, what an idiot. I'll be right back. Okay, now, back to where we were. Joker must have figured out how I was tracking Gordon. Officer Bull's trail stops here. Oh, what a shame. Not really. <laughs> okay. There we go. Oh, hi, Riddler. Yes, it is I, Edward Nigma, the Riddler, and more importantly, your intellectual superior. My genius has allowed me to easily hack into your primitive communications. Riddler's pain. Usingly taxing challenges, and well, you'll see. I mean, I like him better than like. One. Good, but be careful. Um. Don't cut yourself on this sharply observed portrait. That's easy, but I like him better than, say, like, uh, Calendar Man or, um, The Black Mask. So but he's just so full of himself, it's annoying. I would have expected a child to work that one out, let alone the world's greatest detective. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Wayne Tech. Time to upgrade. Um... Get some more help. All right. Hey, Batman! That was amazing. I'm pretty sure you did that without opening your mouth. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Oh. It was a massacre. Bulls came walking in, telling everyone to cover the front entrance. Said something about Joker's army coming through the main gate. Two of my guys moved to the exit, and Frank shot him dead. They never stood a chance. Was Bowles alone? Thought he was. Then I saw Harley Quinn. She was surrounded by Black Gate prisoners. They were just killing everyone in the room. I had no choice. I, I got in here, locked the door. I, I could see it on the security feed. Sorry. <laughs> I had someone with them. It looked like the commissioner. It was the Bowles commissioner. Is dead. They carried on without him. Must have outlived his usefulness. Good. He was scum. I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah, he's dead. Ugh. Goodness gracious. Oh, that's easy, too. Um, let's see. Is there anything that I really need to say news-wise? Um, on Monday, I'm going to be in Columbia, uh, so we apologize for this interruption to our regular broadcast. We I may or may not have a video out for you on Monday. We'll see. I might record one tomorrow if I have time. 
Jack Ryder is an investigative reporter turned controversial talk show host, well known for his aggressive manner and his determination to get to the truth. Whatever, uh, what his viewers don't realize is that he's also the creeper, a carishly colored vigilante who's, who Ryder can, with effort, turn into at will. Although at that point, the creeper's manic personality takes over. The creeper is usually on the side of good, but just barely on the side of sanity. If you've ever seen the 1992 animated series of Batman, um, and it might be in the other one where um, it's him and Tim Drake and uh, Dick Grayson has become Nightwing. I think it's called Batman and Robin, but it's like the same series, just different title. Uh, the Creeper's in that one, and uh, he's a pretty interesting character, not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, you can read that if you want, you just gotta pause it. I don't know how to work this thing and it keeps going off. Sorry. Sorry, making sure there wasn't a Riddler trophy in there. Okay. Yeah, Batman's trapped on the island. Woo! Okay. Yeah, I'll be in Columbia on Monday, so, um, I may not release a video on Monday. I don't know, it all depends. Uh, if I have time to record two of them on Friday, then I will. Um, it'll be uploaded, like, later in the night, though, so if I upload it at all, it may just be a hassle. I may just have to upload it on Friday, and that'll count as Monday's video to have two of them. We'll see. I haven't decided. Oop, we made it outside. I love this view right here from the top of this cliff. I like the way they designed the Arkham, uh, Arkham Asylum for this. It's very, I love it. It's, it's just, it's perfect. Can I get Wayne Enterprises from here? Yeah. Don't get too full of yourself, Dark Knight. It only gets harder from here. Oh, let's read about Bruce Wayne. Born into the wealthy Wayne family, Bruce Wayne had an idyllic childhood. Although he was given a strong sense of justice by his moralist, moralistic and phil philanthropic parents. Thomas and Martha. After their violent murder at the hands of a mugger, Bruce dedicated his life to battling the criminal element that took their lives. He left Gotham for many years to train his mental and physical abilities across the globe, finally returning to take up the mantle of the Dark Knight. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but a little known fact, uh, that, or maybe it is well known, I'm not sure, but, um, Bruce... Wayne and uh, Clark Kent, their mothers are both named Martha. So, you know, that's cool. I thought it was cool. Two hostiles detected. Oh, over there. We. Harley tells me that the Batman Wee. car is still parked just outside of the intensive treatment building. Now, we can't just have him up and leave us, can we? Yeah, yeah. Oracle, disable the Batmobile's countermeasure system. I saw the alert. What's wrong? Where are you? I'm outside the Arkham Mansion. Harley Quinn probably triggered the alarm. If she's still got Gordon with her, he could get hurt. Okay, done. The Batmobile is still parked up outside the intensive treatment building in Arkham North. I've sent you the schematics for the entire island. I've marked key locations like your car. Thanks, Oracle. <laughs> That was the worst face I've ever made in my entire life. 
Yes, there's the Batmobile, and I'm right there. Now, isn't there a tape up here in one of these towers? It's not in this one, so it's got to be in that one. Hey, you still alive, dude? That's cool. In the room is Warden Sharp and myself, Dr. Young. Oh, is this another one of those boring psych evaluation tests? No, it's not. So, you're the famous Joker. In the flesh. So, Doc, do you want me to look at the ink blots again? The first one is a kitten I had when I was a child. The second is... Let's see. A dead elephant. The third is a... Funny. Now let's skip the jokes. Get the jokes? Hey, Sharpie, didn't she get my permanent record? Be quiet, clown. Every doctor that has ever interviewed you claims a different type of psychosis. Everything from multiple personality disorders... I hate you. Well, Stop. The list is endless. <laughs> I do my best. Well, I don't believe it. Anything can be cured given the correct treatment. And you think you can cure me? Oh, I know I can. Ah. <clears throat> I hate that stopwatch. I'm about to throw it out the window, but I'm sure my sister wouldn't appreciate that, so I won't do it. Alright. We're done with that. Okay. Tweedle dumb and tweedle dee saw it. Can you see it? Protected the supply of explosive gel in the trunk of the Batmobile. Yay, explosive gel! Woohoo! Harley trashed the car. Looks like there was a scuffle. I need to search the area around the Batmobile. There could be a clue. It's right there, Batman. Here. It's Gordon's pipe. Gordon's favorite tobacco. Gordon's smarter than he looks. Left me a trail to follow. Smarter than he looks? Horrible. You're mean. Pipe. It has your father's initials carved on it. It was a birthday gift I gave him last year. There's no way he'd leave it. Exactly. He's left me a trail to follow. He's alive, Barbara. So we didn't think he was alive Good before? Evening, ladies and gentlemen. One second. I'm getting some troubling reports of a bat infestation in Joker Asylum. Let me remind everyone that it is their civic duty to exterminate this vermin. We can't have it making its way back to the main one. You are performing just below my predicted expectations. Oh, and shut up. Cousins with an uncanny resemblance to each other, Deaver and Dumfrey Tweed both shared criminal learnings and a fixation on Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland. Teaming up, they've modeled themselves after Tweedledum and Tweedledee from the book, planning often outrageous, absurdist schemes to trap the Batman. <sighs> this rate, you'll never beat me. Oh my god, you say that every time, and you end up getting arrested. Spoiler alert. Okay. Turn that back on, let's follow the tobacco, shall we? 
The security doors are locked. I'm going to have to find another way around to get back on Gordon's trail. The wall ahead is weak enough for my explosive gel to... Got it. Zaz is counting. Okay, I can't do that one yet because I don't have the thingy. I just want everyone to know that I really appreciate all the hard work. You know, watching you guys is like a nightmare. Watching my favorite movie. Oh yes, attack of the stupid bungling idiots who can't find an even bigger idiot running around wet like a bat. Now get to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mark Hamill is the best Joker. The security gate. Gotta find another route. We will. There isn't a trophy up here, is there? Yeah. There is. Leads to a trophy, right? Yes. <sighs> Goodness gracious. Get off of me. Shut it. Get down there with the 
the other. Move it! Okay, okay, I hear you. I'm going. Why does he need the doctors? I've got to save them. Yeah, yeah. Which way are you going? He didn't notice me. Good. You don't stop. safe now. Come on, please. Cut me down. I don't know what happened. One minute we were doing our evening rounds and the next armed thugs burst into the room and took us hostage. Did they have anyone with them? They took someone into the elevator. I couldn't tell who it was. They obviously didn't want to be followed. The elevator appears to have been powered down. You're going to be okay here. We'll be fine. What about the others? We heard gunfire. They could be dead. According to that sentence. Oh, no, I forgot. Dr. Kellerman was in the patient observation room. That I saw Dr. on the Kellerman screen. And Dr. Young went to x-ray. Okay, Batman should here. have said, I'll find the you'll be okay Batman here. Us. I never really believed he existed. You okay? Just saying. Batman saved us. Just saying. Alright. Now. Ah. Solved all the puzzles by now. Yeah, yeah, of course you would. Alright. Born with a rare mutation that made his skin green and scaly and grew his body to grotesque proportions, Waylon Jones was raised by an alcoholic aunt and bullied relentlessly for his appearance. He briefly worked as a carnival freak under the name Killer Croc, but his misan misanthropy, misanthropy grew as did his bestial nature, pushing him to a life of crime. As his physical condition and mental state deteriorate, Killer Croc becomes a more bestial foe, increasingly detached from humanity. They really beefed up his appearance, because in the show I used to watch as a kid, the 92 animated series, he was just a gray dude, like, with no muscles or anything like that. Oh, upgrade. Um, let's see. No. Locked. No. Eh. Mm. Ooh. That one. Will all patients please remain calm and move slowly to the oh. accommodation? How do you Let control that? <laughs> early work of our new head of research, Dr. Penelope Young. Since joining our team two years ago, Arkham is now at the forefront of research into understanding the human mind. Good afternoon, Arkham. Let's talk about the mind. Who's the blood? That means some of the bitch cash. Treated with the What's wrong? It's the bat! Titan's goal is to create a tech that the fully <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Those not physically up. Boy, 
I like Cash. He's cool. Cash, what happened? There was an alarm in medical. I heard someone shouting and found the doc lying on the floor. When I went to help him, the room was flooded with gas. These doors locked down. We can't get out. Don't know how long we can last. How oh, brave. Let's give Mr. Cash a great big hand. He could use one. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be laughing out of your butt when I get out of here. Lighten up, Holmes. I'm just messing with you. Holmes. Leave it, Cap. Joker spilled the room with gas, and we're trapped in here. I can sit in here all night, but the doc over there ain't looking too good. Stop! Batman, I don't know if you can hear this. Board's showing power to fan one. Huh, you talking to me? And you believed him? Hmm. Where's the second one? Did I already pass it? Oh, there it is. Respected guards at Arkham, Cash is only afraid of one inmate, Killer Croc, who severely wounded Cash once during a riot at the asylum. Cash remains determined, however, to keep the asylum's inmates under control and to conquer his fears of Croc. Good luck with that. I can understand why you'd be afraid he took your freaking hand. Alright. There is a Riddler thingy in here. Did that one? That one could have been solved by a monkey. Yes. But good job, nevertheless. <laughs> A pyromaniac, Garfield Lenz began as a petty criminal, but soon graduated to a major crimes, two major crimes centering around arson, torching huge parts of Gotham in the process. But his fire soon raged out of his control, leaving him horribly scarred by one of his own blazes. His body is almost fully covered with burns, and he now wears a full-body flame-retardant suit when he's out pursuing his criminal interests between bouts of incarceration in Blackgate. I guess he's not psychotic enough for Arkham Asylum. But, yes, so if everything goes well, um, I can pick up my copy of um, Arkham Knight before I leave Columbia, and uh, I can come on Tuesday and record it, and um, I'm really excited for the game. I, I know they said that um, Joker might not, is probably not going to be in it, so but I choose on? to believe he will be, because he's my favorite character. <laughs> and there's just not... I'm just not interested in a Batman game without Joker in it, you know? Patient interview 21. Patient's name, Edward Nigma, also known as the Riddler. So, Edward, Warden Sharp tells me you've been leaving threatening riddles scrawled on the asylum walls. Again. One would have to be severely paranoid to read threats into harmless riddles, Dr. Young. May I test you with one? Very well. What is it that walks on four legs, then two legs, and finally, three legs. A human being. As a baby, it crawls on four legs. As an adult, it walks on two. And in later years, it uses a cane. <laughs> Good try. But the answer to all three is a baby. True, it crawls on all fours, but cut off its legs and it can only wiggle on two limbs. Give it a crutch, it can hobble around on three. You see? It's horrible. How can you even joke about that? Easily, Doctor. Good God. Riddler, you're a piece of work. <laughs> Alright. Can I get out of here through this way? Yes, I can. Good. 
There are still medical staff needing my help. Yeah, I know, genius. Remember, a happy patient is a quiet patient. Our findings have led to debates about whether psychosis is in itself neurotoxic and whether potentially damaging changes to the brain are related to the length of psychotic episodes. Project Titan allows us to strengthen the individual's ability to cope with such changes. Early results were promising, but it was only... Here, let me help you, Doc. Don't speak. You're safe now. But, but it's a trap! I know. Just not for me. Just not for me. <gasps> it's true! You really are the world's greatest detective! How did you do that, Bats? Oh, what the hell? Get down there, boys! See if he can be okay. detect being punched in the face! He's obviously not okay. He's lying on the ground. I swear, I'm gonna freaking break something. <sighs> I countered. What are you waiting for? April Fool's Day! Get down there now! What hit me? Don't get too full of yourself, Bats. I'm just softening you up. Think of this as a preview to the main event. You'll see. I'm terrified. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sorry. I tried to tell you. I couldn't speak. Relax, you're safe now. I can handle these low-life thugs. Um, but who do you guys think that the Arkham Knight's gonna be? Because, uh... There's been a lot of theories about who it is, um, but not entirely sure. I haven't decided myself yet, so if you have any idea who you think the Arkham Knight's going to be, leave it in, leave a comment in the, uh, well, leave a comment below <laughs> and uh, let me know because I'm, I'm curious. I'm really excited to see who it is. Um, Tommy Elliot and Bruce Wayne were childhood friends and unknown to Bruce, dark reflections of each other. A childhood sociopath, Elliot tried to kill his parents so he could inherit their fortune. When his plan failed, partly due to the surgical skills of Thomas Wayne, Bruce's father, Elliot blamed Bruce. An incredibly skilled surgeon as an adult, Elliot planned an elaborate revenge scheme of the, on the Batman. He disguised himself as the villain Hush, his face covered in bandages, but he was in the end defeated and un unmasked by the Dark Knight. Hush still plots revenge against Batman, generating complicated schemes with surgical precision. Oh, I didn't click on the other ones. Da da da, da da da. Okay. Um, there's not a trophy up here, is there? Okay, no. We have one more doctor to save, and then I'm probably gonna end the episode there. It's been going for like 30 minutes. Uh, is there somebody Will in there? All patients please remain calm oh, no. and move slowly to their accommodation. Oh, I'm not sure I can keep it a secret any longer. I've got two old friends coming to the uh. park. One of them is just terrified you'll leave without saying hello. The other, well, let's just say he's going to be a surprise to see you as you will be to see him. When Amadeus Arkham built this fine institution, Few would have believed it could be the premier psychiatric evaluation and rehabilitation center it has become. Everyone knows the stories of the various so-called super stuff Yeah, she can operate on me. My foot's falling asleep. Oops. Boy, you think I care? Stop your whining and listen good. If anyone goes near you without joking, 
express permission, then I've been ordered to make sure you are taken out ASAP. Looks like you're a bargaining ship. Gotta tell you, the boss is all over this job. Planned like a military operation. Friends on the inside and out. I am quite aware that this job, as you call it, requires friends. What I want to know is why you chose me. Did Joker specify me? Why don't you let me talk to him? I'm sure we can set... You're fine. Calm down. What's going on? They were talking like they were in control. Is it true that Joker escaped? Unfortunately, yes. But not for long. I'd been studying Joker's case for months when he broke out. The warden was very specific he wanted Joker cured. Bad publicity will affect his campaign for mayor. That'll be the least of it. God. I almost forgot. They said they were moving through the facility, hunting down the other doctors. Not a problem. All staff have been rescued. You'll be safer if you remain here. Stop. I swear. I swear I'll break you. All the you. medical staff are safe. Time to continue following Harley Quinn and Gordon's trail. Right. It has autosave, so... Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode there. Um, thank you. I'm sorry, I'm really out of it today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed, could you please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, because that would be super awesome of you. And I will see you guys in the next video, episode, whatever you want to call it. Bye!